Hey guys. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I'm filming this on a Monday morning, uh, on Monday the 5th. Um, and by morning, I mean it's not noon yet. Uh, and uh, the kids, well, the baby's asleep. Yeah, I did, I remember all this stuff. See, like, like whatever. Um, the baby's asleep. The toddler is over at my in-laws house with my husband because they're helping to tidy up after the party yesterday. And, um, everything is just, man, it's like, it was super, super, super late last night. All right, I'm going to be a little bit all over the place. I'm kind of back planning a little bit because I didn't really touch my planner much over the weekend. I did have like checklists here. Pool bug happened. Freeze chicken did happen. And I only happened because I saw it here, which is good. I accidentally bought thighs instead of breasts, so they are there. Obviously, this didn't happen. This kind of did. Um, highlighting where the parties sort of went till... That was the amount of time that we were at a lot of parties uh, this week. It was, it was fun. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. Uh, grabbing some more pencils. I'm just going to do this with like a... So my daughter turned three on Friday. I didn't mention at the top, I think the coffee cup should make it pretty clear. This is one of those sit down and like do your own planning with me. Like literally plan with me because it's going to be long and jabbery. I need some time to decompress a little bit. It's been a crazy uh, weekend, and I'm so grateful that we have this Monday off. I need to plan my week. And um, I also just kind of want to backfill a little bit here, like, I say 10, yeah, it was, okay. We stayed uh, late to watch fireworks. The baby took a quick little nap on me, and then she was, like, raring to go. She loved the fireworks. This was her first, first 4th of July. Um, all right, so that's, that's all. That's the backfilling. I don't think I'm going to lack for things to put in my, um, line of day journal, which is what I've been putting like a little note in the corner here for that, because I have to go backfill that for the past week as well. Um, oh, yeah, I stuck, uh, I stuck this last week of June into the back of the weekly section behind all of the July inserts, because I like having the photo in the front. And can we all take a moment to appreciate this photo? I love it so much. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you. <laughs> she was doing some um, ballet performance. And just like the look of intense like concentration. And she's just feeling it. I just, I love it so much. <laughs> so first, uh, I went from like a blue or teal and brown theme at the beginning of the week and switch straight over to this um well if you watch the monthly plan with me video you know it's supposed to be inspired by my summer garden so there you go i also did grab some stickers um in joanne's <laughs> primo day sale which i cannot get over how hilarious that name is um they have a gardening thing here the problem with the happy planner stickers is that most of them are too big for my pocket planner but i think i can find space for some of them and this is like around gardening um and so i thought i would try to use that i got it like basically half price it was kind of an impulse purchase but there you go um i'll leave this in here for now and then go back to the front of the weekly section this is what we're going to be doing today is planning out this week of the fifth through whenever um and kind of kind of decompressing. I'll tell you a little bit about my week. Um, it's, yeah, I don't know. Should I go straight for the red? I'm going to start by doing the washi tape and stuff on these. I think I'm going to do it exactly the same as I did last week. Kind of low-key um, with green highlighter, brown washi tape, and then a little pop of the red for accents. So yeah, she turned three and we had like four parties basically. Um, well, cause we, we had three, celebrated three times with her, but she also, I guess, celebrated with the babysitter on, uh, on Thursday 
birthday was Friday, and then um, her babysitter's 13-year-old daughter, she, her birthday is today, the day I'm filming this on Monday, so she actually had like a joint party with my three-year-old, which I thought was the sweetest thing ever. This is such a good kid. Um, she wanted to have a joint pool party with her three-year-old friend. Um, I think it's pretty sweet. <clears throat> And now that that is done with, because I was not in charge of planning either party. The second party was at my in-law's house um, on Sunday, like I said. Fortunately, super close, but also, like, we ended up staying so late. Because, like I said, fireworks. Um, now that all of that is done, like, I, I... Okay, I was saying I didn't plan either party, but I was in charge of some stuff. I was kind of proud of it. Um, it worked okay. The activities for the Bluey themed party, I put those over on my Insta stories. And since I'm saying it now, and it's like four days later, um, when you're seeing this, I guess I will go, if I can try to remember to highlight them just for a little while. Uh, so if you wanted to see, I am kind of proud of the dance mode cards. Um, they took a little while to get started but then there was like definitely a um a flush of dance mode happening later on in the the day um and most of the adults were good sports about it I was all ready with my macarena lined up but didn't get a chance to use it I'm realizing now everything all right no, still more days more days in this week I'm so grateful that I have this Monday off uh, I hope you guys do too. No, not everybody does. My mom's working. I want to keep saying today because today is today and I cannot be bothered to like live in the future enough to start like assuming that I'm talking on a Thursday, you know, which I do sometimes. Uh, let's see. But yes, so fortunately I get the day off. My husband got two days off. Like the entire company got Friday off for reasons and uh, lucky him, which was great because then he got to spend that day with our daughter on her birthday. So I'm definitely glad of that. Let me see, I'm gonna do just this color at the top here and then... <sighs> For the sunflowers midway down the page I always forget I think I need space for Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Saturday here yeah that'll do. so the space here has been content and then future planning like things coming up on deck so I don't forget about them um I always get this feeling sometimes when I keep my possible projects or whatever, the things that are coming up, when I they're not in front of my mind. I like, I, I like to have a list of upcoming projects. Um, otherwise, I feel like I don't know where they are. Um, even if there are none, I feel like there are some that are somewhere that I can't find them. So as long as I know something that's coming up, I can relax. And then I'll go ahead and put the red on the top here. This is my weekly to-do list. Uh, if you're new here, this is the same setup that I've been using for just the last month, I guess. I did this in June. Um, so this fold-out checklist is insert 37 from the GanchiPlans.com shop. Um, here, and it prints on both sides if you wanted it to flip out to the other side instead. Um, and then the dailies are insert 22, and this weekend daily, oh, eh, insert, mm, I forget, but it's called a weekend daily, so you can find that on the shop too. Um, I'm going to be using, now that we're done with the wash, I'm going to be using some stickers, which are not in here, they're in the drawer. Um, let's see, these are from Mad Hatter Sticker Co., and I did a unboxing slash haul, I guess, video. I don't know what the difference is. 
Um, and then I've got date dots too. Where are those? I really need to find a way to organize my stickers better because, uh, yeah, they're, I have some that are too big uh, to go vertically in my drawer. The ones from Planner Kate are too big. They're, they're wider than my drawer is deep or something. So they have to go in flat, which isn't perfect. Let's see. All right, to be honest, some of these are a little bit tricky to pull up. But I love the designs and I love that now I have a whole bunch of headers that all match. And I love the sizing, like they fit pocket planning really well. want to rip too much you know so I think this is a slow week and then next week like the the weekend of the 17th we're visiting my family for my nephew's baptism and my brother and sister and sister-in-law are all coming out from Texas and I haven't seen them since Bridget's baptism so uh, it is gonna be exciting to see them. But that means that this week is a bit more low key and laid back and I think I'm going to try my best to take advantage of that and get some things done. Um, gotta plan ahead for next month when my daughter starts preschool. Um, I got all of her paperwork turned in last week, which was good. Um, now I have to do all the shopping. I want to take her with me to do the shopping. I think that'd be fun. It's probably not a lot. It's pretty specific, you know, such and such many glue sticks, such and such many markers and crayons. Um, but there's probably going to be a couple things that decisions will need to be made on. She got some um, stuff for her lunches and her birthday gifts. I was grateful. I made like an Amazon wish list. And of course all of the toys got picked. But some of the practical things got picked too. And because of that, when we're following the something to wear, something to read, something to... Something you want, something you need. Yeah, the something you need we left off because I know that we'll probably still have gaps in that list that need choosing. And that will be part of it. Like we, I think I just I want to get her a new set of sheets <laughs> because she needs to bring some sheets for nap time at preschool and I think she needs a new set just for like normal sleeping because we only have just enough sheets and they're getting old because you, know, you pee on them and stuff happens Let's see there we go <laughs> all right now time for some headers We've got content. This was the custom one. Um, I know I mentioned this in the haul video, but I love that you can do a custom word and it's not any more expensive. Uh, let's see, there's the next week. We have to do some planning for next week as well um, because my sister, my youngest sister turned 21 during the pandemic so we haven't had a chance to go out and like party it up with her so I think we're going to make it a thing. We're going to leave the kids with the grandparents and go to a bar somewhere or something because you know we're faxed and ready to party or whatever the whatever the kids are saying these days. Um, that's not what the kids are saying. I would ask my 22-year-old sister, but, uh, she probably doesn't know either. <laughs> Love you, Beth. And the last thing was just a couple of highlighting. Highlighting. Uh, I don't know. I generally will plan out my days, uh, like the morning of. If there's anything super important, I try to do everything that needs to be done in the morning, like the night before. Um, so they get the, uh, 
the bags by the door and all of this. There's not too much that needs to be done. I feel like I'll probably start panicking once um, my office moves and suddenly I'm not able to go home for lunch. Because as it is right now, like, if there was something I really needed, I can always go and do it at lunch. Because I go home for lunch. Um, but today is today. And I'm just going to put, like, the important thing today is this, filming. And I need to, like, tidy the house. Probably put on some headphones. Get caught up in my Bible in a Year podcast because I did not finish yesterday's episode because we were too busy. I got, like, halfway through it. Um, and then I might need to harvest some cucumbers. I might need to make some pickles. I think I need to make some pickles. And oatmeal. Because I think I've mentioned this. I've been doing overnight oats for my uh, breakfasts at work. Um, I still have the mini fridge in my office from the pumping. So, like, I still pump. So I have a mini fridge in my office. And so I just keep them in there. But it's um, been a really good way to have, like, an actual healthy filling breakfast and not need to, like, snack in the morning as much. Um, I don't even know. So is there stuff on the next week? From last week. Yep. Oh gosh. Yeah, see, some of this is not return books. That needs to happen. Right, I'm gonna pull this out right now. Usually it's in the back here, right? The, from the week before. It actually works out really well. And then I flip over my weekly to do list for the next week, and then I can copy things over from here and here to here. Um, but as it is, see, I'm going to flip it over. No, I can't because there's a tab there. Err. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to flip this guy over so that I have a flat surface to write on. I don't always go to that extra step. Vacuum office, yeah. That needs to happen. In theory, I would love for this, the room I'm in now, to be baby-proof-ish so that I can ever work on my computer with the, when the kids are awake. Baby journals, yeah, that's probably a long shot. I think I need, it's one of those things I need to plan to plan. Um, maybe after this week I'll, I'll figure out, I don't know. I need to see, yeah. Uh, one of my... One of my credit cards has this like extra fee on it for some sort of insurance, overdraft insurance. I need to take that off. It was sold to me as a good idea and it's it's not. Um, I have a whole bunch of library books that I've been meaning to return just because we have too many of them and I feel bad. Um, we could probably get some more. I think I will put Walla Dulles on here. So yeah, um, we're, we're going to trying to establish a mint in our home to teach our daughter what cash is. Um, yeah, sale holidays, maybe. Uh, let's see, yeah, maybe. And then, what was the thing that was supposed to be on here? School supplies, why is this not on this list? School shopping, let's see if I can take her school shopping this week. And then... I'm just marking some little migration things. Sorry, it's off the camera. But Alright, then next week or some other time afterwards. This is like a long-term this item is probably going to be on my list for a while. It's not literally next week. It's whatever. But I, like I said, I like having a project on deck so I know that there's something that I'm not forgetting. I, I really want to do something to our bathroom to make it a little bit more hospitable. I need some shelves in there. Um, yeah, and for that, I think I'd want to hit up some thrift stores that still exist, maybe. I hope that some of the thrift stores survived. I think the Salvation Army did, and I know the uh, Goodwill did, at least. Unfortunately, that's all. Uh, let's see. 
and yeah I do I have to install this hard drive into my computer I don't have an extra bay for it so it's like I have to figure out where it goes and it's for uh, backing up video files fortunately I'm not running out of space on my drives quite as often since I stopped making uh, two videos a week I'm not really only making one and so then here I put like oh I do have some things I need to get done because Monday is off I was gonna forget um, and so for example uh, this Thursday is this week plan with me all right Wednesday is when I schedule all of my Instagram posts for the week that's a little behind the scenes for you and then I post some sort of a preview photo on the community tab on Tuesday. So on Mondays, I need to do that. I need to do the preview. And I take my photos for Instagram on Monday and then process them and post them, schedule them on Tuesday. So there you go. That's some behind the scenes for you. Um back in here. I don't know. That's probably pretty much it. I really just need to get the house a bit more tidy. It's kind of nice that suddenly I have a little bit of quiet, but that won't last forever because the baby doesn't nap quite as long as my toddler does. Um, there you go. Maybe I should find a sticker in here that, that I don't know. Where flowers bloom, so does what? Good things are wild and free. Grow where you're planted. Every day is a fresh start. Doesn't really match the color scheme. Um, I'm looking for just something to be like a little decoration here. Um, see, I think even these checklists are literally too big. I'd have to like trim them, which I'm willing to do, I guess. Yeah. I love the availability of Happy Planner stickers, but I kind of wish that Happy Planner made like a pocket size. Um, do you wanna, that one's really nice, I don't wanna waste it. <laughs> so you ever get that feeling, you're like, oh, that, that sticker would be perfect, I don't wanna waste it. Um, maybe this one. I definitely want to go outside and spend a little bit of time in the garden because I always feel that no matter how stressed I am, going outside and just like communing with my plants uh, helps. I should do a um, another garden tour on Insta Stories because I haven't since like the winter. I'm just gonna slap this down here. Yeah, and it'll be. Oh, these are not. These are pretty permanent. All right. And then here it says, uh, I was going to say unwind, maybe both. All right. Oops. I, like I said, I'm super happy that we had today uh, to like, yeah, calm down after. It's just been, it's been a super fun weekend, but crazy, because, you know, fun is crazy, especially when you've got little kids. All right. Oh, man. I think that maybe she'll get to... I was just thinking, my, my daughter's over at my in-laws right now playing, and she'll probably get to eat lunch over there, and then just come back when she's ready to nap. So that will be nice. I'm super grateful that I got to stay home, uh, even though the baby will wake up any minute, and then that will be us. She will get to help me clean the house, whether she wants to do it on the floor, playing quietly by herself, or strapped to my back because she won't stop whining. That's what's happening. But I can at least now check off one of these. I hope that you are feeling productive in your day and that you got something fun and or productive done while watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Thursday about my planning and I guess a lot more of what's going on in my head today than usual. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, leave your comments below on what your kind of favorite 
video content is, whether you prefer the more polished ones or things like today where I just turn on the camera and start talking. Um, because honestly, those are easier and a lot of times they get more views. So let me know if I'm wrong there. And I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.